touchdown, Chris. When we come back, we're cooking up some wonderful Super Oh, no, we're cooking them up right now. Some wonderful, wonderful Super Bowl, uh, I guess, sideline dishes since we'll all be unfortunately not on the field or anything. But, of course, David Milliner is here from the East Baker Historical Society, and we're cooking it up all healthy. And we are joined now with wonderful Brittany Evans from the city of Sylvester. They're both here cooking up some great food for us this morning. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Good morning. Awesome to be here. Excellent. And, David, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. And what we want to do is just share with people how to uh, eat healthy for the Super Bowl. Sure. And of course, uh, use products that come right from our local farms and, and talk about our farmers markets. That Absolutely. We're about to uh, open a whole nother season. Yeah, I mean, I know we have uh, six more weeks of winter, I guess, but <laughs> those farmer markets are about to get, get back in gear. Absolutely. Uh, one is going to kick off in Baker County with our uh, free spring extravaganza. Ooh. Uh, so we're inviting the public to come out. We're expecting about 1,500 to 2,000 people. Wow, that's uh, wonderful for Baker County, too. It is. It is. We're going to have uh, free pony rides. We're going to have clowns. We're going to have live entertainment. So uh, fun. Absolutely. And the backdrop is our food and yep. our farmers. Absolutely. And they're bringing things to the and table. And we've got some nice little sample here. And some of these foods are also from the city of Sylvester. That's right. We have a lot of local growers there, and we're excited about opening and launching our very first farmer's market in so Sylvester. Okay. Yep. All right, so tell me about, David, tell me a little bit about the foods that we have here. Again, all local food that we're going to turn into mm -hmm. Super Bowl snacks. Absolutely. These are some sweet potatoes from Mr. Samuel Lee. He's Ooh. right out of Sylvester, Georgia. He'll be selling at Brittany's Market uh, okay. over there with the Downtown uh, Development Authority. And these are chemical free. Uh, we Wonderful. walked through his uh, property uh, about a week ago okay. with uh, two representatives from D.C. They are uh, some of our grant funders from uh, the Winrock International Foundation. Me. Yeah, so it's, That's it's a That's my old time. stopping ground back up in D.C. So. <laughs> Very good. So we're going to slice these and we're going to turn them into homemade potato chips. Oh. You know, you can go into the store and buy pretzels. Sure. You can buy the scoops. But here, uh, we teach our kids down at uh, the uh, after school program to make their own chips. You can deep fry them or you can grill them and just cut Neat. them to a thickness where they'll, they'll hold. And sweet potatoes, that's got to be a lot healthier Absolutely. than regular potato chips. They are, and the flavor is, is, is really appealing to uh, oh, youth. Yeah. So what we're trying to do yeah, is... that sweet. Yeah, yeah, trying to get them to eat healthy and, and to make sure that they're enjoying their food as well. Wonderful. Now we've got some, uh, is this ground beef frying up? It is. We usually like to use uh, uh, turkey. Okay. In this particular case, we use some ground beef. Um, to kind of spice it up a little bit, we're going to use some cream cheese. We're also going to use some uh, sour cream. Now, what are we making here? We're making a healthy cheese dip. Ooh, healthy mm. cheese dip. No, mm. no I'm ready. looking for <laughs> cheese and healthy don't really seem to go together, but <laughs> I think David is going to just shock us all this morning. Right. Absolutely. In this particular case, we're going to uh, don't use a lot of uh, you know dried condiments or seasoning mm. or anything like that. We always like like to use uh, fresh Georgia peppers and onions. Oh yeah. Of course, we can always give it kind it of a up. zip. That's right. So we'll just add some of those right now. All right. Just get a few and cook them and right now on And now these the are just uh, tricolor peppers and onions? They are. Okay. Tricolor peppers and onions. And, of course, uh, we added a little bit of Okie Finoki barbecue sauce. Oh, another, of another uh, vendor out of Sylvester, Georgia. And he makes his sauce right there in Becker County in our, our, our kitchen. Our cool. Place. Delicious. Now, this is Okie Finoki mm -hmm. gourmet barbecue sauce salsa picante. <laughs> Ooh. So I bet this has a little bit of a zip to it. As this one does. It has a little kick. Oh, and uh, you want to have fun with your, your dips. You know, if you're sitting around watching the game, uh, this meat is going to have a nice mm, backdrop to it. Let's just taste it. So go ahead. Yeah. Let's just taste it. Put taste a little it. on our finger. My hands are there clean. <laughs> David always brings wonderful hand sanitizer for us. Absolutely. Mm. There's some yeah. right over there. I get, mm. Right oh. here. Right <laughs> on the back of your throat. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. Yummy, though. And I bet once we add everything to it. It's right. going to be absolutely wonderful. Now, you guys can go ahead and start adding this. All right. Well, when we, we're going to add some of these uh, cream cheeses and sour cream, and when we come back, hopefully it'll be a little more cooked. Stick around. We'll be back with more Good Day after this. Absolutely. So you guys can add all of those. That's uh, eight ounces of each. Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. Well, I am absolutely starving. David Milliner and Brittany Evans are both here cooking up some wonderful, healthy Super Bowl snacks for us. Mm -hmm. David, Brittany, you guys have been busy cooking while we've been on the show. Absolutely. Kind of what? Give us an update. Sure. We went ahead and we grilled the ground beef. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and we strained that, and we took a freshly grown tomato, we diced that up, and we put that, mixed that with Ooh. eight ounces of sour cream mm -hmm. and eight ounces of 
um, cream, cream cheese, cream cheese and we mix that all together. Mm -hmm. So that's all in this right here? That's it right. Is. So this is just sour cream, cream cheese, and tomatoes? Right. Mm -hmm. And, we're about to add and our right our now beef. we're going to oh. to add this. I was say, no, that didn't sound very good, yeah. but <laughs> I think it was missing a couple things, yeah. and that explains it. The meat, it. of course, the final touch. Absolutely. Right. We'll okay. give it a good toss around and, and now, taste. David, would you put this on nacho chips, tostitos? You can use nacho chips, you can use pretzels, uh, you can use some uh, some scoops by uh, Tostitos. But of course, uh, we actually like to use our fresh grown product. Oh, that's right, because we're cooking up our own chips. Absolutely. So that's we have right. some chips that are coming right off the grill. They're sweet potatoes coming Ooh. from Leeway Gardens. Look Mr. at that. Samuel Lee out of Sylvester. Now, how did you cook up these chips? Because I've never made my own potato chips before. Basically, you just slice them as thin as you can get them. Okay. Uh, and you want to make sure that there's something that'll hold hold the texture sure. uh, so they'll be firm when you pick them up and scoop them. So not too thin. <laughs> not too thin. You can actually use a slicer. In our commercial kitchen, we do have something you can have set to a uh, potato chip. Oh, and it'll cool. cut a chip for you, uh, the perfect uh, width, length, and everything. And then, of course, uh, you can and deep you just fry bake them. them or? You can bake them, deep fry them, or we just put them on our, our flat top grill here. There you go. And then, of course, just brown them off, and they're about ready to try it. So I want you guys to really Ooh. try some And of are these some of that's already done? They are. Well, Brittany, you did a wonderful job mixing this all oh, up. Thank you. All right. Now, David, tell me a little bit, because you and Brittany are kind of working together Absolutely. to work on a new farmer's market in the city of Sylvester. Yes, uh, we want 22 counties around southwest Georgia to embrace the idea of putting a farmer's market in each mm. one of those counties because it's going to help our farmers. <coughs> it's helping with sustainable That's ag. got a zip. It's got a little kick to it. Oh, my okay. goodness. <laughs> we might need good, to huh? Flavorful. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was not expecting that, but that's delicious. Good, good. Oh, my goodness. And so with those farmers markets, uh, it's going to be a family-friendly environment. Uh, we had a model here that uh, is coming back to life uh, in May. And, mm -hmm. of course, uh, in Baker County as well, April 28th, uh, our extravaganza is a time that people can come out and just see a big taste of what we want these markets to really become. And that's a big spring extravaganza? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Sounds April like 28th, uh, 10 to And 2. ours will, be, our market will actually be opening May the 5th, our oh, grand wow. opening. So brand new, we're starting from scratch. Now, so. you all have never done a farmer's market we like this it. before. And being that we're known for being the peanut capital of the world, uh -huh. sure. because we produce more peanuts per acre than anywhere else, Absolutely. we thought it was vital that we support our local agriculture and, and our farmers. So that's what we're, we're taking a step in a movement to do. All right, because it's not just peanuts they do down there in No, no, it's, it's a lot more. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, David, th now that I've kind of recovered from that ex that uh, surprise of the spice, uh -huh. Absolutely wonderful. We've got some chicken wings here as well. We do. Uh, we have a citrus blend in here. Brittany's going to take the top oh. of our shaper. It's got uh, grapefruit also coming from Leeway Gardens. Okay. It has lemons, okay. limes, and oranges. Awesome. And of course, what that does is mm. put a nice citrus blend together with our peppers, onions, mm -hmm. and we have uh, some uh, apples in there as well sure. that came from uh, North Georgia. So do you just kind of cook that all up together? And you do. Just kind of let them steam together, let the uh, flavors marry. And then you take your chicken hot off the grill and put them right on there. And then I want you guys to give it a taste. All right, sounds all right. good. This is all local grown mm -hmm. and you know that is something that we definitely want to promote. Um, when you support your local growers you're keeping um, you know the money in Absolutely. your county. Um, I just want to say that when you go and you shop at Walmart and these big super grocery stores mm -hmm. um, that money leaves that night. Sure. Where, whereas you know, if you spend a dollar in your own county it, it recirculates right, right it recirculates multiple times before it leaves so all right. you know a lot of benefits for sure. farmers markets. All right, Absolutely. so May and April farmers oh, markets are coming it. back. We're going to get there. those all tossed up. But Kelly, mm -hmm. I think you've got dessert over there for us. I do. Man, guys, I have.